Hey everyone, it is Andrew here from MAO Magic. We're going to take a look at a new moment lens, which is the macro lens. We've taken a look at the zoom lens and the wide angle lens in the past, but things have changed. We have the iPhone 7 now, which the plus model has got some crazy lens situations on it. We have a new lens to check out, which is the macro one we're going to be featuring in this video. And of course, we'll take a look at some of the accessories just towards the end. So the big thing here is just going to be the macro lens itself, which is going to be pretty much exactly what you need for some really beautiful close up photography. It is one of four lenses that Moment offers. There's the Superfish, which is a fish eye lens. There's the 2X zoom lens, which is great if you have a, uh, you know, a non plus model of the latest phone. Obviously, the, the iPhone 7 Plus has a 2X lens in it, so you don't need it there. Uh, the wide angle lens. And then, of course, the Moment or the <laughs> not Moment, the macro lens. This is really what you need for that close up photography. Just like all of the other lenses, it does come in this nice little box. You have the lens itself, and then you have a little bag to keep it in unless you opt for one of their fancier cases. It does have this hood on here, just a plastic hood, which is also a light diffuser and lets you know your focal distance. It has a focal distance of about 18 and a half, I think, millimeters is really what you're going to be shooting for, and that hood is precisely that distance away. So you want your subject that far away. It'll also diffuse the light coming in, so there's nothing too harsh on your subject. If you don't want that on there, that is perfectly fine. It just has a rubber gasket around the back and it'll detach. You can put it into your bag, leave it at home, whatever you need to do. So if you are not familiar, how does this connect to your phone? You got this really nice lens. How do you get it on there? Well, that is where these mounting plates come in handy. There is an adhesive on the back and they affix to the top part of your phone. And then there's a bayoneting system similar to a high-end DSLR where you kind of put on the lens and you twist it and it locks into place and easily comes off. Some other lenses use magnets, but the problem with magnets is they can mess up the optical image stabilization on the newer and bigger iPhones. So they do have these new mounting plates out that yes, they work with the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus. It works with the 7 Plus model. But obviously, again, you don't want the 2X zoom lens on the 7 Plus. You, you are perfectly fine with any of the others. But because you have those two lenses, one is a 2X lens. So adhering these to your phone is dead simple. And they do remove without any issues on your phone. And they're so slim, they'll work with almost any case out there. I have found a few cases that they don't work with. But almost every case out there I've tried, they, they will work fine. Particularly Apple's cases work great with this, uh, this setup. Now, even with the new iPhone 7, it makes it easier than ever to actually adhere these mounting plates because of that little uh, lip around the lenses. It makes it really easy to align because you do want that lined up perfectly to prevent any vignetting around the edges or distortion. And luckily with these lenses, there is almost none of that. So to put on the lens, you just put that little dot to the side and then you rotate a quarter of the way clockwise and it's going to lock it into place and that dot should be perfectly straight up. You'll have the, the two logos, the moment and the focal distance both on the sides. We completely perpendicular to the phone or to the ground. It's still worth reminding everyone these are fantastic quality lenses in terms of build quality. They have some of the best glass out there. They're high grade metal bodies. They just, they feel like a DSLR high end lens and not just some little mobile lens. They even have a great app that goes alongside. There's all the standard controls out there. You got a lot of manual stuff that you can control, grid systems. You can choose the, the exposures and everything else separately. But you also can choose which lens that you're using, the telelens, wide angle, uh, macro, superfish. And when you're doing that, it's going to write that to the metadata. So when you're looking at that EXIF data after the fact, you can see which lens these photos were shot with, which is, I think, just a really nice feature for pro photographers. I like being able to go in there and see all that information. Now, the downside, I guess, to this lens is you do have to be very close. That should not really be a surprise you know, for a macro lens, you have to get something super tiny and trying to make it really big. You got to be really close there. And of course, that hood is going to help you get that distance away that you need to be. But you can't easily shoot it by yourself without that hood on there, which is kind of what I've been doing. But I did have a few people who say like, wow, I had to be really, really close to get that to work. Yes. Yes, you do have to be really close. So you should be prepared for that when you're buying this lens. So here is some sample photography that I've gone through. Everything, I've just been very impressed with it. Um, with a lot of other lenses out there, auto clips, I see easily distortion around the edges, vignetting or, or just warping. 
none of that on these lenses. Very, very little at all, if ever. I've had a couple people saying they could see a little bit, but I haven't noticed anything in my photos, and these macro photos came out really great. Um, there's just a lot of cool stuff you can do, and even on Moment's website, there's a whole gallery of images that people have shot using these uh, lenses, and you can see for yourself how little distortion or anything there is, just really bright, crisp, close-up photography. So let's take a look at a few of the accessories that you can pick up to go along this that you really, really probably should have. So first up is going to be lens caps. There is no lens cap on here. There is that little bag that you can bring with it, um, but especially for the other lenses, for the macro, it, if, you, if you have the hood, it's probably not a big deal, but if you have that hood off a lot, or you have the Cine lens, or not the Cine, but the 2X or wide angle lens, uh, or even the superficial lens, it would be really great to pick up one of these lens caps. They're very nice, they're kind of rubbery. They have a microfiber that felt lining on the inside to kind of protect the lens itself keeps dust off the lens and they're actually magnetic so I can just go ahead and clip this onto the side of my tripod uh, or something else when I'm out and about and I don't lose those lens caps. I do wish there was a lens cap for the other side because a lot of dust gets in there which brings us to the next accessory that you should probably pick up and that is one of these uh, pens that allows you to clean the dust off of those lenses. I do keep one around for my Nikon, my SLR, just to keep my lenses nice and clean there. So it makes sense that I would have one here for my micro moment lenses. You have two sides to this. You have this tiny little brush with a, with a little felt tip and it's bendable so it's not gonna hurt your camera or your lenses at all. And there's even a piece of felt inside of the cap but that's gonna be really great for cleaning those small spots. Then on the flip side, you have more of a brush end. It extends out, you have this little brush that you know, similar to like a makeup brush and you used to easily dust everything off. So these do get dust over time. They're a lens, they're glass, there can be static, whatever. Dust does get in there, so you can clean them with the bags. Those bags are perfect for cleaning off the lenses, but if you get dust, you could use something like these brushes especially on the inside, that smaller piece is just the exact size to get in through that little hole. So if dust gets in there, there's pretty much no way to clean it out unless you have something like this kind of pen. It is also great for cleaning the lens on your iPhone. On the, the other side, you do have that clip around there. It does make it a little bit of a dust trap. It's very easy to clean that up as well. So there you have it, the macro lens from Moment. One of my favorite lenses, a really artsy, really cool to play around with. You can pick it up at the link below in the description. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Check out the other reviews of the lenses that we've done in the past. And until next time, this is Andrew for MAO Magic.